there's no time. Take this. Keep it safe. Information. The Ice Reach Coven. At work in the West. Just need more proof. Go! They're coming! Don't trust them. Only Lyris. She's... You there. What did that fugitive tell you? Who are you? Another spy? What did this lying Easterner say to you? Assisting a fugitive is a crime in Hafingar Holt. Unless you want to find out how we deal with traitors and spies, tell me what he said to you. Lucky for you. If he had told you any seditious lies and you decided to keep them from us, you'd have been in real trouble. Don't stick your nose where it doesn't belong. Solitude doesn't take kindly to instigators or strangers. And mark my words, you'd rather not get on the wrong side of the High King's guard. Go on. Just remember, I'll be keeping an eye on you. and I'll stick you like a hawker! I don't know any Brondold. That is what I told the guards, and that is what I'm telling you. I don't want any more trouble. You make me stab you, and it's my word against yours. Dead? Stone's mercy! And I'm next, aren't I? I promise. I don't know anything. I won't make any trouble. I'll disappear. I don't even like it here. You'll never see me again. He... He did not tell me a lot. Said he was tracking some bad people. Asked me to keep an eye out for any unusual comings and goings. He'd come by now and then with a sweet roll and a few coins for my trouble. He was... nice. The last time we spoke, it was about the men with the job postings. A pair of wolves in sheep's clothing, trying to blend in, but still off around the edges. Same with their horses, sheared mountain mares. Come from the reach, I wager. Flyers, they were hanging them at the inn around the city. Something about a lucrative opportunity in the Druidic Mountains. I really did not pay them a lot of attention. I was more interested in the men distributing them. Take Brondel's horse and run before someone less friendly comes to find me. Bron was going to take me back east after he finished here. I want to live where strangers are welcomed with a smile instead of a scowl. I hear Windhelm is like that. We are stuck between the despot of Markarth and the Scold King of the East. Both sniff around like wolves. 
waiting for a moment of weakness to strike. Not a day goes by without a threat of war. It is exhausting living this way. They'd be wise to. The only time Reachmen and Nords meet is to kill each other. I always heard they were raiders and barbarians. No interest in honest labor, or writing for that matter. Not the sort to post job notices. Who knows? Maybe they really do need laborers. Can't imagine Reachmen would hire Nords, so. It doesn't make a lot of sense. A wild land full of wild folk, located south and west of here. It's changed hands between Reachmen and the Nords more times than I can count. But they control the territory now. Seeing Reachmen wandering the streets of solitude, it makes me nervous. You'd feel the same if you knew the tales of the fall of Markarth. What the Richmen do to folks they capture. Better to slice your own throat than let those barbarians take you alive. If they raid our hold, just run and don't look back. Flyers. They were hanging them at the inn around the city. Something about a lucrative opportunity in the Druidic Mountains. Just needs your help. Sea giants and vampires are everywhere.
Regis needs your help. Sea giants and vampires are everywhere.
So Filgor poisoned his own brother, and he expects the Nords to follow him. He's more foolish than I imagined. Help me. I have nothing. What is it? Joran didn't mention he was sending you to Solitude. Not that I'm sorry to have you along. An extra blade is always welcome. As soon as Brondold shows up, we can get things started. He's what? Oh, damn it. Queen Gerhild will be here at any moment. Look, Her Highness is expecting to talk to me and my contact. I need you to pretend to be that contact or this will go very badly. We can exchange intimate details of our lives later. Right now, just know that the safety of all of Skyrim, maybe even all of Tamriel, depends on how this meeting goes. So follow my lead and be on your best behavior with Her Highness. Lyris Titanborn, your reputation is known even here in the West. Is this one of your famed companions? No, but I assure you my partner is one of the Scald King's best. Go introduce yourself, partner. I am Gerhild, Queen of Skyrim. Allow me to welcome you on behalf of our kingdom, our city, and our hold. Who might you be? The letter that preceded your arrival said an attempt was made on the Scald King's life. It indicated that High King Svalgrim would be next. My husband took that as an accusation and a threat. He will not meet with you, but I will hear you out. Have you anything that would persuade my husband? It will take some substantial evidence to convince High King Svagrim to heed the words of the hated Joran, the Skald King. Reachman transgressions will not be enough for Svagrim to accept outside help. He's a prideful man, and the bad blood between him and Joran runs deep. I will speak on your behalf, but you and Lyris will need to bring me proof he cannot ignore. Thank you for alerting me to this situation. I am eager to see what else you uncover. I will do what I can, but be as discreet as possible. If you run afoul of my husband, he won't hesitate to return you to Joran, and not necessarily in one piece. Eastern and Western Skyrim have been at odds since the kingdom was divided. Joran's ambitions for the Ruby Throne, however, have created a new level of tension. Forming alliances and raising armies for conquest. Should we not be wary of such a man? Frankly, yes. He believes Joran hasn't marched here with an army as yet, because the Western Holds are firmly united against Pact rule. My husband is certain Joran plots to erode those allegiances. He will not easily earn the High King's trust. You must convince my husband that a threat greater than Joran exists. Further, this threat must directly imperil the High King. Find proof of this, and I will assist you how I can. Helping to keep our hold safe will also allay his concerns. It's enough for me to believe your intentions are sincere. Learn more about these suspicious activities you mentioned, then bring it to me. If this threat is as dangerous as Joran claims, prove it, and I will make my husband listen to reason. My deepest apologies. Between the Reach to our south and the Ebonheart Pack to the east, our soldiers have come to see all outsiders as a potential threat. I will look into this. Vigilance cannot be allowed to become a bludgeon. You handled that better than I expected. Now what in Mara's name happened to Brondold? 
Damn. Lucky thing he found you. Rondold was supposed to get the lay of the land before I got here. Without his information, my work for Euron the Skald King could be over before it begins. What did he give you? Hand it over. Hmm. Smugglers and Reachmen up to illicit business. Nothing unusual there, but Rondold thought it could be connected to the Coven. I'm short a good investigator, and you stepped into the role easily enough. Can I count on you to help me with this? Rondold mentioned some locals we should have a talk with. A snitch named Grega who likes to gamble in back alleys, and an orc named Mog who frequents the Lonely Troll Inn. Let's find them and see what they can tell us. After the Ice Reach Coven's attack on the Scald King, we determined they also had plans for Western Skyrim. Joran's warnings have been ignored, so he sent Brondold to get the lay of the land and me to persuade Svargrim. You can see how that's going. In all honesty, they can't stand each other. But King Joran doesn't want the Coven to topple Western Skyrim. That would be bad for the East as well as the West. Besides, Joran was hoping to use this as an opportunity to improve relations. We don't, but it's all we've got. Even if they aren't connected to the Ice Reach Coven, taking care of a few of Svargrim's problems might earn us some goodwill. Now, let's go check out the back alleys and the Lonely Troll Inn. I'm not the first Nord from the East to receive a chilly reception at the Blue Palace. Doubt I'll be the last. The Bard's College. Hard to imagine the Scald King spent his youth studying verse in this stodgy old kingdom. Castle Dower is a monument to the Western spirit. Stony and cheerless. Maybe the new tower will liven up the place. What? You must be Mog. I have questions. Questions? <laughs> Happy to oblige. Buy a few rounds and let's chat. You're going to answer me, Orc, or... Hey! Nobody intimidates my friends. Princess Svana. Who gave you the right to walk in here and bully my friend? Did my father send you? Because he doesn't like Mog. But I like Mog. Mog doesn't care that I'm a princess, and it doesn't matter to me that Mog's a scoundrel. If my father didn't send you, why are you threatening my friend? Smelly bastards. Cheap, too. Wouldn't buy us a drink. They hung their flyers and left without saying a word. Then a different smelly bastard showed up to sign on workers. He was a charmer, though. <laughs> His breeches fit well. And he was handsome. Not a Nord. Breton, maybe? I didn't really listen to what he was saying. A half dozen workers left with him. Off to the Drudok Mountains or someplace. He hasn't been back since. Let's talk outside, partner. Not how I expected that to go. Thanks for smoothing things over. Hard to believe we ran into her royal princess in the local drinking hall. We should pay a visit to Grega before we wander out into the wilds in search of this mysterious Breton.
pain. Hey, 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 hey! Don't step on the dice! There a reason you're interrupting our game, Hawkface? Don't know any brawn old. Don't know you. Either way, I got nothing to tell you. Get lost. I'm on a winning streak. Dead? That's a new one. Nothing Kasala usually moves through port is worth killing over. You didn't hear it from me, but she's the one picking up those shipments. Her warehouse is down on the docks. You want to know more? Go ask her. So we've got a mysterious Breton possibly working with Reachmen, recruiting workers for some unknown purpose. Plus, there's a smuggler hiding unknown contraband in a warehouse down by the docks. I say we deal with the smuggler first. We know where to find her, and we more or less know what she's up to. And if the two are connected, maybe the smuggler can help us narrow our search for the Breton. Ready to visit Casella's warehouse? What do you want? That's Casella's warehouse. Tynes Aegis needs your help. Let's try See, not to cause a scene. Vampires are everywhere. Private property. Get lost. Wait. A half giant? Is that? Lyris Titanborn? Blood and Blade? Everyone knows Lyris Titanborn. What a woman. She's even larger than I imagined. No wonder she fought Swordmaster Sai Sahan to a draw. Wait, is he here too? Until Kasala returns, I'd be happy to keep fair Lyris company in her stead. Alas, Kasala doesn't allow visitors when she isn't here to conduct business. We can wait out here. Do you think Lyris would autograph my ancestral scabbard? It would mean so much to my son. When I have one. Do you know if Lyris is betrothed? Oh, thank you, thank you! You don't know how much this means to me. I don't know what you said to him, but this is our chance. Try the lock. See what's in those marked crates. I'll watch the door.
Brought muscle this time, I see. More than you. Care to try me? I'll pass. I just want to know who's been meddling in my business. I had a feeling it wasn't just an opportunistic thief trying to steal my cargo. What are you after? A plot against the High King? Involving plundered antiquities from Hammerfell? Preposterous. I'm simply facilitating a transaction between treasure hunters and a rich collector. So, who am I paying the bribe to? You or the High King? Gimme that! Tribal crafts my arse. I told that son of a skeever I don't deal in arcane goods. Especially ones from the Reach. Nothing but sorrow comes from such business. This isn't cursed, is it? No name. Just instructions and gold. Shipments come in, I make sure no one looks too closely and wait for a pickup. Never see the same face twice. Last time it was a smooth-talking Breton with Nord laborers in tow. You want more? I need assurances. They're taking the cargo to an abandoned lodge in the foothills north of Solitude. Occasionally used it myself when the city guard was being thorough. Want to catch them? Start there. If that's all, we're leaving. I'm not losing my head over this. The Breton was sly. Handsome, even. Thought he could charm me into taking on additional shipments. Now that I know what's involved, the trouble isn't worth it. The Nords were local, hired hands from the Lonely Troll. I'm paid not to ask too many questions. This arrangement was a lucrative one. I trusted them, but it seems they took advantage of my natural greed. That won't happen again. Rondald had good instincts. We're definitely onto something. Our mystery buyer is hiring locals to haul these urns and reach fetishes out of the city. But for what purpose? Hmm. The Coven was also perfecting some kind of ritual in Ice Reach. Something to do with storms. If these fetishes are from Ice Reach, you may be onto something. Still, why involve the locals? Seems like an unnecessary risk. Good idea. Head there while I circle around from the other direction. Maybe I can catch them before they reach the lodge. Just be careful. I'd rather not lose another partner at this point in the investigation. Give your sentry my best, and tell him I owe him an autograph. Oh, he's gonna get more than an autograph if I see him again.